In today's video, I'll be trying to figure out why the internet keeps telling me to put hot glue on my toothbrush and makeup brushes. Then we'll be using a hot glue gun to make the coolest lamp I've ever owned. A bird feeder, which I feel may have some safety issues, and trying to restore the most destroyed pair of sandals you could imagine. Plus more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. In the last video, I asked you guys to tell me something that you do to save money. And your answers were intelligent, creative, and sometimes disgusting, which is how I would describe mostly everything on this channel. But since you guys came up with so many comments, I thought I'd ask another question. What is your worst fear? It can be getting eaten by a shark or having your significant other find out about that inappropriate text conversation that you had. You know the one I'm talking about or anything in between. Just put the first thing you can think of and I'll be featuring 10 of my favorite in the next video. That and of course, keep leaving your dares. Now we'll be getting started with the first life hack, which was making a custom lamp out of a can of spray paint and some old random toys I had laying around. And of course, a hot glue gun. Another day, another beard. Well, almost. Back for another episode of Hot Glue Gun Nation with your host, DJ Minion, doing some stupid DIY crafts. I don't know how these qualify for, for life hacks, but I guess they do these days. Either way, after seeing it in a five minute crafts video, I thought it would be pretty cool to try. But I'm gonna do mine a little bit different. Instead of it being all sorts of different characters, kind of looking like they got into a car accident, I'm just gonna do a couple of Minion and it will be a minion lamp. Here's the lamp, it's from Ikea. I never use it anymore. And after I'm done, I might not ever use it again anyways. But if I do a good job, then you might see it in the background of some videos in the future. Let's see. I'm about to life hack my table to stop wobbling. Better. And now that I've sufficiently stalled enough for my hot glue gun to warm up, let's get this thing going. This one I think is actually a McDonald's toy. Now with this purple guy, his hand is pretty low to the ground over here, so I'm just gonna glue his hand to the ground too for a little bit more stability. And I think I'm gonna glue his arm to the pole. Now that is actually all of the hot gluing that I'm going to do. They seem like they're on there, and if they fall off, you just hot glue them back anyways, so no big deal. Now let's get this thing into paint. I think that looks pretty good, actually. So here is my minion lamp, and I love it. It looks perfect. Might have gotten a little bit dirty from being outside, but not bad. Just gives it character. Now I'm gonna untape it, put the shade on. I've got a little light bulb here, and we'll see what it looks like. Seriously though, how awesome is that? This is like my favorite lamp ever. For this next life hack, I really just wanted to test it out over safety concerns. When I first saw this bird feeder life hack, I was pretty skeptical that it would actually stay together. But then again, any other birdhouse I build would probably also not stay together either. This next hot glue gun hack that I found, it might end up killing a small animal. It, no, it probably won't. But the idea is that you glue a cup to a plate and then just kind of hang it like that outside with a bunch of bird seed and hope that it doesn't come apart, which it inevitably will eventually, right? So I'm not even sure if I really wanna hang this up outside. Instead, I kinda wanna just try to glue this to that and see exactly how much weight it can hold. I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so step one is I put a bunch of hot glue on the plate. I need to get a better hot glue gun. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not really holding out much hope for this thing. It's just that the surfaces that I was hot gluing were really smooth and I just feel like it could probably peel off of there. I don't know how to test this though. Actually, it seems like it's on there really good. Ow. I mean, that's harder than any bird is gonna land on it. Even like a squirrel or a few squirrels are probably not gonna land with that that much force. I think it actually worked. That's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go and hang this up outside somewhere and uh, probably be able to look at some cool birds and stuff. I'm surprised. I did not think that was gonna work at all, but it did. This cup is from Ikea, by the way, if you guys wanna steal my design. It's not really my design, but 
it's my cup. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Now I wanted to talk about another phenomenon that I've noticed in the life hack community, and that is putting hot glue on a toothbrush in the thumbnail and then not actually doing it in the video. The closest they usually ever get is wrapping the toothbrush in parchment paper and then applying hot glue, but nobody ever actually puts it directly on the bristles like in the thumbnail. Now as far as using hot glue to make a toothbrush holder, I think that's well, cool. But I still want to know why the internet is suggesting that I put hot glue directly onto the bristles of the toothbrush. And so let's just do both of those things and see what happens. Just my guesstimate of how much I'll need. All right, I'm gonna just try to hold down the parts that won't stay down and then hot glue it all together. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, it works. No one cares. Now let's apply hot glue to the toothbrush and try to figure out how to use it to hack our lives. Let's just see what happens. Well, there's definitely a lot of hot glue on it now. Uh, okay. Since I don't know what we're making, um, I guess that's enough. Now you would think that maybe it's like a cool way to clean your toothbrush, like maybe it just peels right off, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's gonna do anything other than get all over your toothbrush and you're not gonna be able to get it off easily. That's what she said. I just got big globs of hot glue running down my toothbrush. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> See if it's still melting. Yep, sure is. Okay, I'd say it's just about dry. That took a little bit longer than I was expecting. That's what she said. All right, now let's try to use it as a stylus. I think this might actually work. No. No. It's just getting marks all over my new screen protector. Um, I wonder if maybe you could use it to like brush your gums. Yeah, that's doing something, sure. Or maybe it's a way to clean or straighten the bristles on your toothbrush. So let's try to rip it off real quick and see if it all comes off in one piece. No, no, it's still all over it. It's dug into the bristles now, so pretty much ruined my toothbrush. All right, well, that's as clean as I'm probably gonna get it, and it's still got uh, hot glue smeared into the bristles, so. So in conclusion, I'm not sure why the internet keeps telling me that this is a life hack, but something that we may never know. But it doesn't just end with toothbrushes. Now they're getting into your makeup brushes too. And it's the same thing. It's just not in the video. And my girlfriend won't let me ruin any of her makeup brushes to prove it to you. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. But life hacks aren't all lies. Here's one for making a multiple person effect with an iPhone. So from this angle, you can see Kristen sitting in the chair on the right, and I'm over there on the left holding the wand, and as she passes me while she's taking her panorama photo, all I have to do is run around her to the other side, and then wait for her to pass by me again, and then I can loop around one more time to be in the shot a total of three times. Now, in case that was a little bit difficult for you to follow, I wanted to also show you what the iPhone would be recording as it's recording it. We sped it up a little bit, but other than that, it's the exact same as what it looked like while the panorama photo was being taken. And after you're done, you'll end up with a pretty wide photograph that'll look kind of like a string, but if you zoom in on it, you'll be able to see yourself several different times in the same photograph, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And that's how you use panorama effect on your iPhone to do a multiple person thing. Uh, <laughs> It's weird, and uh, I don't really know what to call it, but I like it. And that being said, we'll be on to the next air. So a few weeks ago, I was making another hot glue gun life hacks video, and in that video, I hot glued these sandals back together, and they are still held together. I mean, it's like they were never destroyed in the first place. I mean, they're not that pretty, but it's a lot more functional than it was. And that kind of got me thinking whether I should try to fix these or not. Now, these are a lot more destroyed, but I actually kind of like them even better, and they fit my feet really well. So that's another reason to try to save them. But as you can see, they're also very destroyed. The reason these got destroyed is that I was using them in a video not that long ago and they got messy somehow which is typical for my videos so I ended up just placing them in the shower and I kind of forgot about them and every time I took a shower I just poured hot water onto them and that's pretty much why they're falling apart now it's just from being in the hot shower with me every time I took a shower but they should be pretty clean I guess but that being said if this does not work I'm gonna have to throw these out anyways so I might as well give it a try And now, they're as good as new, or kinda. Okay, they're gonna fall apart in like two days, but I'll keep track of them and let you guys know the progress. As soon as these things disintegrate, as I expect they will in due time, I will let you guys know in the comments. But if I haven't mentioned anything, it means these are still working, which 
could be incredible depending on if I've actually left a comment or not. All right, on to the next life hack. Yeah, those sandals are destroyed. There's no bringing those back. Moving along. But if you found this video useful or if you just enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Tell me what your greatest fear is in the comment section, and I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys. Bye.